Seti to Arsith Astu was the fifth pharaoh of the 19th dynasty of Egypt and reigned from c. 1203 BC to 1197 BC. His throne name, user Kapur Setapenner, means powerful are the manifestations of Re, the chosen one of Re. He was the son of Merneptah and Asitnofra II and occupied the throne during a period known for dynastic intrigue and short reigns. And his rule was no different. Seti to had to deal with many serious plots, most significantly the accession of a rival king named Amenmes, possibly a half-brother, who seized control over Thebes and Nubia in Upper Egypt during his second to fourth regnal years. Pharaoh, reign, 1203-1197 BC predecessor, Munepta, successor, Sipta Concert, Taket, Wazrit, children, Sidi Marinta, father, Munepta, mother, Isetnofra II, died. 1197 BC burial, KV 15. Mummy found in the KV 35 Royal Cash Theban Necropolis, Dynasty. 19th Dynasty evidence that Amenmes was a direct contemporary with Seti II's rule rather than Seti's immediate predecessor. Includes the fact that Seti II's royal KV-152 at Thebes was deliberately vandalized with many of Seti's royal names being carefully erased here during his reign. The erasures were subsequently repaired by Seti II's agents. This suggests that Seti II's reign at Thebes was interrupted by the rise of a rival, King Amenmes in Upper Egypt. Secondly, the German scholar Wolfgang Helk has shown that Amenmes is only attested in Upper Egypt by several year 3 and a single year for Ostracus. Helk also noted that no year 1 or year 2 Ostracus from Deir al Medina could legitimately be assigned to Amenmes's reign. This conforms well with the clear evidence of Seti's control over Thebes in his first two years, which is attested by various documents and papyri. In contrast, Seti II is absent from Upper Egypt during his third and fourth years which are notably unattested presumably because Amenmes controlled this region during this time. Finally, and most importantly, it is well known that the chief foreman of Deir al Medina, a certain Efer Hotep, was killed in the reign of King Amenmes on the orders of a certain C who was either Amenmes himself or one of this king's agents. According to Papyrus Salt 124, however, Neferhotep is attested in office in the work register list of Astraka MMA the 14th of June to 17, which also recorded Seti's accession to the throne and was later reused to register workers' absences under this king's reign. If Seti's six-year reign followed that of the usurper Amenmes, then this chief foreman would not have been mentioned in a document which dated to the start of Seti II's reign since Neferhotep was already dead. This indicates that the reigns of Amenmes and Seti II must have partly overlapped with one another and suggests that both rulers were rivals who were fighting each another for the throne of Egypt. During the second to fourth years of Amenmes, Seti I's parallel reigns. Amenmes gained the upper hand and seized control over Upper Egypt and Nubia. He ordered Seti II's tomb in the Valley of the Kings to be vandalized. Prior to his fifth year, however, Amenmes was finally defeated by his rival Seti II, who was the legitimate successor to the throne since he was Merneptah's son. Seti II, in turn, launched a Damnatio Memoria campaign against all inscriptions and monuments belonging to both Amenmes and this king's chief supporters in Thebes and Nubia, which included a certain Kemter, a former viceroy of Kush who had served as Amenmes's vizier. Seti II's agents completely erased both scenes and texts from Kivi 10. The royal tomb of Ami and Amessi.Viziae are Kemter's scenes in Nubia which were carved when he served as the viceroy of Kush were so thoroughly erased that until Rolf Krauss and Labib Habaki's articles were published in the 1970s. His career here as viceroy was almost unknown, notes. Frank J. Yurko, on the situation of the two half-brothers. The second is the records of the trial of Panup, Neferhotep, one of the two chief workmen of the Deir al Medina necropolis, had been replaced by Panup, his troublesome son in law. Many crimes were alleged by Neferhotep's brother Amenet against Panup in a violently worded indictment preserved in papyrus now in the British Museum. If Amenek's testimony can be trusted, Panab had allegedly stolen stone from the tomb of Seti II while still working on its completion for the embellishment of his own tomb besides purloining or damaging other property belonging to that monarch. Panab was also accused of trying to kill Neferhotep, his adopted father-in-law, despite being educated by 
the latter and after the murder of Neferhotep by the enemy, Panab had reportedly bribed the vizier Pramhab in order to usurp his father's office. Whatever the truth of these accusations, it is clear that Thebes was going through very troubled times. There are references elsewhere to a war that had occurred during these years, but it is obscure to what this word alludes perhaps to no more than internal disturbances and discontent. Neferhotep had complained of Panab's attacks on himself to the vizier Amenmos, presumably a predecessor of Pramhab, whereupon Amenmos had punished Panab. This troublemaker had then brought a complaint before Mosai and C, who then acted to remove Pramhab from his office. Evidently this Mosa must have been a person of the highest importance, perhaps the king Amenmos himself or a senior lie of the king. Seti to also expanded the copper mining at Timna Valley in Edom, building an important temple to Hathor, the cow goddess in the region. It was abandoned in the late Bronze Age, collapse, where a part of the temple seems to have been used by Midianite nomads, linked to the worship of a bronze serpent discovered in the area. Seti to also founded a station for a barge on the courtyard in front of the pylon to at Karnak and chapels of the Theban triad Vauman, Mut and Konswaf the wives of Seti II, Puazrit and Takit. Seems certain, Puazrit would rule as regent for Sipta and later as pharaoh. Her name is recorded in Monedo's epitome as a certain Thoris who was assigned a reign of seven years. Takit bears the title of king's daughter which would make her the offspring of either Ramesses II or Marinta. A list of princesses dated to year 53 of Ramesses II names a Takit, who was not included in earlier lists. This would make her about the same age or younger than Seti II. The traditional view has been that the rivals were half-brothers, with Takit as queen to Marinta and mother to Amenmes while the mother of Seti II was Isetnofret II. Takit is shown on several statues of Amenmes, and on one of these, she is called king's daughter and king's wife with the word wife inscribed over. Mother, according to Edon Dodson the title was recarved when Seti regained control and usurped the statue. This would seem to indicate that Takit was married to Seti and that Amenmes was Seti's son and usurped the throne from his own father. Dodson allows that there may have been two women named Takit, but the treatment of the image of Takit makes it unlikely, for many years. Certain Tia was also accepted as a wife of Seti to and mother of Sipta. This was based on a number of funerary objects found in the tomb of Sipta bearing the name of Tia as king's wife and king's mother. However, it now seems that these items washed into Sipta's tomb from the nearby tomb, KV-32, as the result of an accidental breakthrough. KV-32 is the tomb of the wife of Thutmose IV Tia. In January 1908, the Egyptologist Edward R. Erdogan, in an excavation conducted for Theodorum Davis, discovered a small burial in tomb KV-56 which Davis referred to as the gold tomb in his publication of the discovery in the Valley of the Kings. It proved to contain a small cache of jewelry that featured the name of Seti II, a set of earrings, finger rings, bracelets, a series of necklace ornaments and amulets, a pair of silver gloves and a tiny silver sandal were found within this tomb. In 1980, James Harris and Edward F. Went conducted a series of X-ray examinations on New Kingdom Pharaoh's crania and skeletal remains, which included the mummified remains of Seti II. The analysis in general found strong similarities between the New Kingdom rulers of the 19th dynasty and 20th dynasty with Mesolithic Nubian samples. The authors also noted affinities with modern Mediterranean populations of Levantin origin. Harris and Wendt suggested this represented a mixture as the Ramesides were of northern origin. In April 2021 his mummy was moved from the Museum of Egyptian Antiquities to the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, along with those of 17 other kings and four queens in an event termed the Pharaoh's Golden Parade, Gabriella Dembitz, the decree of Sethos II at Karnak. Further thoughts on the succession problem after Marinta, Hinnin, K. Indrefit Agulius adds, Proceedings of the 4th Central European Conference of Young Egyptologists. The 31st of August to the 2nd of September 2006, Budapest. Studia Egyptiaque 18, 91-108, 2007.